guys welcome back to the channel and um this is dime and welcome to dime up cuz where i basically talk about basketball and nothing but basketball um as you can tell by the title of the video um this is about is Giannis's time in milwaukee going down what do i mean by that basically um ever since the start of uh the end of last season the 2019 2020 season um them getting embarrassed in the bubble and getting knocked out of the second round people have been also always wondering is Giannis gonna stay in milwaukee after this season is he gonna opt in his player option um and in my opinion i don't think he might stay i might he might not stay you know but if that doesn't if that doesn't come to fruition, fruition or whatever it was, whatever the word is, if it doesn't come to that, if he does stay, come back to this video and flame me in the comments. Man, let me tell you why. So today we have seen Chris Paul get traded, right? And the uh, one thing that the uh, Bucks really need is a playmaker. Like they have Giannis, right? They have Giannis. They have. That's really all they have as a playmaker. So, and Eric Bledsoe, he's not really your prototypical point guard like Chris Paul. And with Chris Paul already traded and can't be traded for a extended period of time, um, it's very likely that the Bucks might not even make any changes in the point guard position. You might say, oh, Chris Middleton's a good shot creator, a shot creator for himself. In my opinion, he doesn't really get anybody else open. And you also have to look at that bench, too, of the Bucks. The bench for the Bucks was pretty decent, in my opinion. But did they have that playmaking ability? Um, no, nobody really on that bench was known for their playmaking. So, there, so, and let me tell you, Giannis wants to win now. You, you know what I'm saying? He wants to win now. Because... Right now in his career, two-time back-to-back MVP, DPOY in the same MVP year, multiple All-Stars, All-NBAs, All-Defensive, all the accolades, you know, of an all-time great, basically. People are going to start looking at his career like, hey, you got to step it up. They're going to start looking at him like LeBron now. You know, this is looking like a parallel to what happened to LeBron. LeBron stayed in stayed in Cleveland for an extended period of time and then he saw hey I'm not gonna get anywhere with this team so he had to leave is that the same thing that's gonna happen with uh, Giannis you don't know because in my opinion his play the players on the Bucks right now were better than that cat that Cavs team when LeBron was on it way back in his first two in his first stint with the Cavs um, so they're gonna need playmaking that's 100%. And their defense is fine. Like, they've had the best... They, I think they had the best defense in the league this season. Or last season. So, um, that's something they don't really need to work on. They just need to get a better point guard. And who are they going to get, really? I mean, could they get Chris Paul? No. It's not. It's, they're not able to get Chris Paul. They can't get Dennis Schroeder. They can't get Ricky Rubio. You see what I'm saying? So basically, all the playmaking point guards that, um, the ones that utilize their playmaking are basically off the market, basically, right now. Um, you could, so I've heard some people say DeJounte Murray could take over that point guard position, you know, his defense, and he's pretty, I've, I, I don't know if this is true, but some people say he's a pretty good passer. I haven't seen it. Um, call me a casual. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I mean, the time for Giannis, Giannis's days are numbered in Milwaukee right now. His days are numbered, and it's only a matter of time before he either says, I want out, or um, or he signs the Supermax, you know? But if things don't go his way, and what do I mean by if things don't go, his way, or don't go the Milwaukee Bucks way, I mean by them getting out of the second round. Because they haven't gotten out of the second round. They haven't made it to the Eastern Conference Finals at all. They got embarrassed in the bubble They're, um, in the Eastern Conference semis in the um, second round. They got embarrassed by the Miami Heat, who then, um, I think, 
beat somebody else. I forgot. My goodness. I have bad memory. My bad. But um, they beat others. And that Miami Heat team went to the finals. And they lost in six games to the Lakers, which was inevitable, in my opinion. But, um, yeah, like, that Bucks team was embarrassed. They were ran through. They just got destroyed, basically. And I don't know if they're, they want to run it back or anything. I don't know if they want to run it back and say, hey, that was just a fluke. We can get, we can get, we can beat those teams. I don't know if they said that or not. I don't know if they're going to do any trades. Um, and another thing that, that comes with their, with the Bucks non-playoff success, that when they don't succeed is probably because of Coke, uh, Bud, Budenholzer. Um, he's a good regular season coach. Don't get me wrong. He's a great coach. Um, great coach. Great overall coach. But when it comes to the playoff time, uh, he starts to panic. Not panic, but kind of dwindle in his skills of being a coach. Um, they all, like, remember um, in the first round. In the first round, they uh, lost to the Orlando Magic. Um got blown out by the Orlando Magic, you know, and um, the Orlando Magic were up 1-0, I mean, the Bucks won four straight after that, but that showed that the eighth seed can contend with that Bucks team, if they're clicking on all cylinders, and if the Bucks team isn't there mentally and focused, and that's the coach's job to get your the team mental, uh, mentally and physically focused um, to beat the other team. And that's one thing that I think is wrong with uh, their non-playoff success is the coaching staff, Uh, more notably, Budenholzer. Um, I mean, and uh, this season, the 2020-2021 season, is going to be a big test in that East because they have really good players in in those teams now. You know, they got Kyrie on the Nets. They got Kevin Durant on the Nets. Got Trey Young, who's blossoming into a star. They got really good teams. Um, Miami. Uh, I don't know about the Sixers, man. They they going through some stuff. But that's gonna be a big test for that uh, that Bucks team to get past those big juggernaut teams like the uh, the Nets and things like and, and teams like that. And even if they do make it to the finals, are they gonna beat the team out west? You you never know right because that west that west is stacked they got the warriors the clippers the uh sons who just got chris paul who could be big sleepers in my opinion and so it's just a matter of time we just got to see how it works um and if they can't get out the second round if the bucks can't get out that second round um bucks fans say goodbye to Giannis because he's not staying i don't think because he's like 27 28 and I don't think he wants to stay and waste his prime in a place where he cannot win. That's what Russell Westbrook did, you know? Russell Westbrook wasted his time in OKC and basically wasted his prime. Um, any Russell Westbrook friends don't come after me for that, for saying that, but it's true. He wasted his prime, and I don't want to see Giannis waste his prime on a team that won't win. So, um, yeah, I mean, go, what you call it, comment, see what you think about it, debate it out, obviously, debate it with others, and um, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, man. Um, thank you to anybody who watches my videos. I really appreciate it, man. It's, it's, uh, it's a dream come true for people actually watching my videos. So I want to thank you all for that. And, uh, yeah, man. If you don't subscribe, I'll put this. Uh, I'll put the milk before the cereal, man. I promise you that. You don't want to see me do that, do you? So subscribe. Peace out. Editing time here, and uh, forgot to tell y'all. Tomorrow, I'm going to be putting out a video about the draft. Um, tomorrow. So uh, watch out for that video. Turn on the post notification so you'll be the first one to know. All right. Peace out.